What do you got to get off your chest, man? Come on, we want to hear it. So uh, I do have something I want to get off my chest, and it's just I really feel that NFL is more a sports entertainment and baseball is a competitive sport. Let me elaborate. And everyone's like freaking out. Like, what are you talking about? So going back to the Super Bowl, my opinion, I really feel that the officials, the officiating, their initiative was to make sure Tom Brady wins a game. Tom Brady's game plan, what they so you're did saying to- they fixed the game. Not that particular game, because let me finish what I was about to say. That game against Pat Mahomes, it was all Tom Brady, but that's who the officials would have won it to win the game if the game was close. Now, if you go back to past Super Bowls, especially the Super Bowl prior to that, it was obvious that the officials worked their little magic and leaned their way into making sure that the 49ers will win that game. Let me elaborate. So we have Super Bowls where people forget that the officiating could decide the outcome. The NFL constructs a crew of referees who had never worked as a team in the whole entire season. So two weeks literally before that in a championship game, they have teams of referees who know how to work together. But when it comes to the Super Super Bowl is just random, so it doesn't make any sense. They have the luxury of making no calls that are just as vital to who wins the game. It's amazing to me how this is not much of a headline going into the biggest game in American sports. It's gotten to the same level of like shady judges and boxing with inexplicable scorecards to favor a boxer. I mean, I can't wait for that future documentary that exposes this scandal when players and people eventually speak up. We know it's happened with basketball. There's that NBA referee who admitted that he was fixing games due to gambling, sports betting, and it was going on for years and years. And he basically, I saw an interview that Pat McAfee had with him about a year ago, and they asked him, former NBA referee, if he feels is going on with the sports. He said, absolutely. I mean, I have to kind of believe that. And people forget that NFL is sports entertainment, and it's not really as competitive as baseball. Let me, let me explain it. So with football, it's strategical when it comes with the referees. They can purposely call penalties against the team they favor to make it appear as if it's fair and even, but they can also make an offensive holding call that can kill an entire drive. So it's very strategic. And in comparison to like what I was saying earlier, comparison to baseball, it's hard to fix a game with MLB because they have the ability to review plays with precision. The only way to possibly rig a baseball game is to have like the home plate umpire purposely screw up with balls and strikes and things like that. But really good luck because NFL, on the other hand, is an embarrassment sometimes when it comes to these shady tactics. When you have millionaires, billionaires tied with sports betting, they better make sure they pick the correct team to get their money because I'm sure if they would have released some type of historical breakdown, a bet's place in conjunction with who won or which team won, it will reveal a common factor. And I think this scandal will eventually, who knows when, 20 years from now, will lead to the demise of football because it's got to that point where I think they find different ways to execute this. And no one likes to hear the word fix because it will be kind of like a downer. Look, I know officiating has the ability to change the course of the game and they do they always have and obviously that's all been that's inter- all it takes is what i'm saying that's all right. it takes I, and obviously there's been interviews about it and obviously there's been stories about it it changes the course of the game but i don't believe in games being fixed right now i don't at least i don't want to believe it and in baseball My- it's actually the same and not only at calls as balls and strikes at the plate calls being safe or not at home mm-hmm. and things like that you just said it right there changing the to me in my opinion, like I said, it's my personal opinion, changing the course of the game is enough to change the outcome of the game. And this is the only reason why baseball is my number one sport over football. It would be football. I love football. But the only reason why baseball is, to me is over football is because that possibility that the games are more likely fixed in comparison to baseball. I know when a home run, a ball goes over the wall, that's automatic home run. You can't say anything about that. That's a home run. That's cut and dry. There's not I like think, waiting. There's not waiting I, for a penalty flag and say, hmm, I wonder if they're just going to take that homer back. You don't have to worry about that in baseball. No, you don't. But I think that that's just something that you want to believe because they have other ways of being strategic about changing the course of the game by the I way think, they officiate I th- it. I think we have smart minds. I think they figure things out over the years. Football has been around for a while now, so they can be strategic with it. Like I said, they can make holding calls. When they call that 10-yard holding play for the offense, that already kills the drive. You're one referee call away from changing the outcome of the game. It's a buildup. People don't see it that way, but it is, in my opinion. I, I agree, but so does calling a guy safe or not at a plate prior to home. So. That's why you have the replays and you can pinpoint exactly you can see that tag that was made. It's, it's more concrete, so... 
like, like I said, officiating in general just kind of changes the course of the game. It's going to be a debate. I know a lot of people will disagree with me and say, hey, look, why don't you just enjoy the game? So I see the other argument. I'm, I'm open minded to that. Someone says, well, then don't watch football. But like, come on, I, I love football. But at the same time, to know in the big games, this happens. You know, I'm not saying all 16 regular season games are fixed. That's what I like saying about football. So. Right. Either way, we don't know for sure. Hopefully one day the truth will come out. Let us know your opinions. Let us know. Caesar and the wise guy over here. 